Welcome back to the Fab Forums. On the last episode, I finished up the downpipe on the turbo system for the sick fox. Man, that thing is a sick fox. In this episode, I wanted to work on the shop a little bit. So I've been kind of finishing up some stuff on the Bibster, starting the turbo setup on that thing. But I also wanted to work on the shop. Get some of the shop stuff done, get some of the walls framed up in here. And yeah, just start getting the shop ready. So the shop is an absolute disaster, but for those of you that follow me on the Instagrams, you know that I've been making some progress, which is always a good thing. So let me catch you up to speed on kind of what I've been working on. Um, got a little bit of footage of the construction. Obviously this is not like a how-to channel, but I can kind of give you a little show of what I've been doing. So you probably remember the lights. Made these lights a while back. Uh, trying to finish out this space. Some old barn tin. So I specifically tried to pick pieces that were kind of a mix of rust and not. And got it kind of finished off over around this door. Wraps this corner pretty nicely. And as you can see, I've started framing some stuff out as well. So I've mentioned before uh, on the channel that I wanted to kind of make this space look very similar to like a shipping container. 
Um, it's kind of what I'm going after. It's a little bit wider than a shipping, actually it's probably a good bit wider than a shipping container would be, but I want it to, I want the space to accommodate what I'm gonna use it for as well. So, opening here, uh, I'm guessing that opening is like maybe six, six tall, probably a good, I don't know, eight feet wide. And then um, this opening here, which is gonna be a bar, a bar-ish setup. So kind of let you know what's, and I've mentioned it before, but I'll kind of show you now that I've got some kind of structure that makes a little bit of sense, but I want it to be convertible. So I don't exactly remember what the height is on this. I think it's maybe eight foot ceiling height in this thing. I, didn't, I wanted it tall enough where it felt comfortable, but I didn't want it so tall that I can't put an air handler up top. So the idea is that I'm gonna put an air conditioning in here, the air handler's gonna go up top, and uh, I'll probably kind of close it in a little bit to shield that. So I wanted the ceiling to be tall enough where it felt comfortable, but it didn't feel cramped, but also leave myself enough space on the top to house that air handler and, and that sort of stuff. And then, what I want to do right here is a bar setup. So, but I want it to be convertible. So to be honest with you, so to be honest with you, I really don't know how I'm going to use this space 100%. I know that I'm going to put a large conference table in here. I'm really going to use that as my desk. I'll probably do some podcasting in this space. Um, I want this space to be a little more modern than the rest of the shop as far as uh, the feel that you're going to get when you're in here. So. Maybe wood wall and then the rest sheetrock, nice and clean, nice and bright. Whereas this space over here is going to be more vintage feel, not as bright, more of yellow style lights and a lot of backlighting and that sort of thing. So anyway, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to use this space in the future, but I want it to be kind of convertible to fit whatever needs I might use it for. So like I said, I'm going to have a nice space in here for uh, working in, uh, podcasting, you know, conference, just conference space, just for shooting the bouncing ideas. I got people in, in the area, they can come in, we can bounce ideas, we can do a little business in here, right? Um, but I also want to entertain this space. I want to have some shindigs, have friends over, you know, have whatever, parties, or not. So I think what I'm gonna do is this section here, I'll probably build like a frame from the outside, I'll, it'll all be tinned up. So to kind of have that shipping container look, probably paint this whole side uh, with shipping container type of stuff, maybe do a full Kill Fab logo on the side of this thing. And then this section here, have it to where it can fold out. So I'll hinge it some way, have this thing fold out, I can make some temporary um, but permanent looking uh, truss pieces for this thing, whether it's out of metal or wood kind of have those where they snap in pretty easily and you got this kind of awning piece on there, right? And then make a, you know, I don't know, 18 inch bar top for this thing that kind of mounts on this and maybe bolts and fastens and make it nice and strong. You put out a couple bar stools, you're ready to rock and roll. Especially if I want to have an event here, I can take the conference table, push it all the way back to the, to the wall, do coolers, I could hire people, hire people to serve, serve drinks or whatever, uh, if you want to do food, whatever. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I want it to be convertible to fit my needs, no matter what. I also think it'd be pretty nice to just open this thing up to the shop. So, you know, kind of doing the boring stuff in here and it's kind of open to the shop. I mean, once this uh, shop gets done, I hope, to, I hope to have like a good view from here. I don't know what I'm trying to get at. So, and this, this opening is like a four by eight basically is what it is. And then maybe on the underside of this piece, it's all whiteboard stuff. So when it's down, I got a place to kind of whiteboard stuff. It'll kind of be framed a little bit and just feel right. And then when I want to flip that thing out, put the temporary gussets in there, snap the bar top on, you can change the feel of this whole place. And I'm sure this is not like to code either, but I tried. It's close.
All right, so bar area, lounge space. Now the idea is that this framing right here will disappear. This will all be uh, filled into up to the ceiling. Probably I've been playing with some wood, so maybe do wood there or tin, one of the two, and then gonna have a wall that kind of comes out from this wall all the way to like right about here. So all this will be a wall. You walk in this, you walk in the front door and that'll be closed in and then, you know, maybe five or six feet over, there'll be one complete wall that kind of fills in that space as well. So it'll be much more closed in than what you see right now. You can have a cool space too, probably a little whiskey barrel over here. I've got the old Holly, Harley Davidson engine, probably do like a large, some sort of large something that is switched, like lamp, lamp, I don't know. Something that puts off light that's big and cool and will be on a switch. Nice old fashioned rug. Thought about doing a table, but maybe not. Or if I do, it'll be like a, um, like an old shipping cart, big steel wheels, wood top, something to kind of sit right there. And then, yeah, you know, conference table, big, nice, maybe like a live edge uh, piece of wood or something with like some kind of I-beam base underneath it. I'll make that when the time comes. So other than that, and you can kind of get a feel for how that looks, right? Weezer. Hey. Weezer. Oh, one of the other things I want to do is all this behind here, which a lot of this crap will go. I just kind of moved it out of the old shop. I got to go through it and throw out what I don't need. But the idea is that all of this space behind here will be storage that you won't be able to see from the main space. So if I have customers or visitors or whatever, they come here, it's gonna be ultra clean and open. I'll have two stations over there, one for the, for the twin turbo car, maybe one for the new C10 that I got coming that I haven't told you about yet. The dually will probably be in the middle because it'll go in and out because I drive it. And then obviously the bibster back here. Everything else, wide open space. So if I have visitors or customers, they can come in. There's not gonna be shit laying everywhere. There's no parts, no project stuff. All that stuff will be back here, hopefully organized. And um, I wanna build some kind of fence, half wall, something that kind of fits the theme that'll kind of span this whole space back to the shipping container portion of the shop. Okay, I think that's enough talking. Y'all get the point, I've talked about it before. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do something, let's make something. I think one of the things I wanna fix right now that's kind of bothering me is this little outlet right here. You guys know that when I wired this place, I had no idea what I was doing, what I wanted. So like, I just kind of had stuff placed everywhere. But one of the things I want to do is I want to kind of tie this into this panel and make it look finished. So I think I'm gonna take this cover off and maybe weld some flanges on it. I think the welding heated affected zones that kind of welds themselves in some steel, a little bit of shark hide will kind of make that fit the theme of this space and kind of fix this whole, yeah, so let's do that. Definitely don't want to sound like a complainer, but I will tell you that one of the things that sucks about sucks about a large shop is that at least right now, because I'm not organized, it seems like I do a lot more walking. Well, I know I do.
Well, that is the work on the shop. Let me know what y'all think. If there's anything I'm just absolutely missing that I have to put in here, let me know what that is. And uh, I'll keep chipping away on it. Probably just wait till it's all done and I'll do another video. Turbo build on the Bibster. Uh, I've been saying that forever. I've been working on it a little bit, capturing some footage, but gonna have a full video on that very soon. See you guys. Laters.